Hello everyone. I, Forum Patel from LG School of Law, would like to extend my warm welcome to every viewer. Now, friends, in this session, we shall be starting with the scope of the copyright, as I stated in the last session. But before we get started with the scope and other aspect under the copyright laws, let's have a quick overview of the previous session. So, friends, in the previous sessions, we talked about the whole history, which were divided into three different phrases. of the east india company 1914 act and of course the post independence era so the whole copyright has been enacted and changed during all this time after that we had had an overlook about the concept and the meaning of the copyright laws and why do we need to protect the copyright under our act so with this session i shall be starting with the scope of the copyright so friends let's get started so as you can see on the screen the works which is idea and expression in material forms no copyright in the ideas or the facts that means my friend that copyright is there which is for the expressed idea and not only the only idea which you have in your mind that means you need to execute your ideas now the scope of the copyright can be given as given in the different parameters The first one that you can see is the original literary dramatic and musical or artistic works. The next is the cinematography films and after that comes the sound recordings. That means my friends that the scope of the copyright laws in our country has been extended and has tried to cover all the aspect of the creativity creativity which one person or one individual can come up with. When we are talking about the scope of the copyright my friends it becomes very important for all of us to understand that what is the meaning of originality or rather what is the importance of originality of the work when we are talking about the copyright protections how far it is important for all of us to have the originality in our work to obtain the copyright protection of course now can you obtain the copyright for somebody else's work or for the creation of somebody else's if other person has created a work based on their intellect can i have or can i ask for the protection of the copyright over somebody else's intellectual work then the answer is no the copyright cannot be granted if the work is not original in its nature the basic premise to be protected by the copyright is of course originality the work should be original and not infringing any other copyrighted material to enjoy one's copyright status under this act at the same occasion it is submitted that originality does not imply literary material merit or accuracy which is standing in the same manner as an artistic work which is protected even if it lacks artistic quality that means my friend even if you are making an application for the copyright protection of any of your creativity you must have originality in its own nature if the work which is which for which you are asking for the copyright protection is not original then the act is not covered for that protection you will not be getting any protection for that work which is not original in its nature or which is lacking the originality after understanding the importance of originality in the copyright concept we have to come to the term of the copyright the general rule is that the copyright lasts for 60 years in the case of original literary dramatic musical or artistic work the 60 year period is counted from the year following the death of the author now in the case of cinematography films sound recordings photographs posthumous or publications or any other publications which is also the works of the government and the works of the international organization the 60 year period is counted from the date of the publication friends we have seen in the history that the term of the copyright was not 60 years previous to the new amended act it was 50 years and the same was different when it was about the east india company phase the law has to be changed and so the term of the copyright in after the amendment act it has become 60 years the work has to be protected for the 60 years and so it will last till that time when i just stated that the uh, term which will be granted for the authors will be of 60 years it becomes very important for all of us to understand what do we mean by the authors under the copyright law so as you can see on the screen my friends whose rights are protected by the copyright laws 
The copyright protects the right of the authors, that is the creator, create, uh, creators of the intellectual property in the form of the literary, musical, dramatic, artistic work and cinematography, film and sound recordings, who might be considered as the first owner of the copyright in any of the work. The originality, which is very important aspect of the copyright law, has to be created by the author. Now, ordinarily, the author is the first owner of the copyright in any of the work. So that means, my friend, that any person who has given the creativity idea in any of the forms which has been covered under the copyright law would be considered as the original author or the author under the copyright law. It has been classified as you can see on the screen that in the case of the literary or dramatic works, the author will be the person who has created the work. In the case of the musical work, a composer that is a music director or a music composer would be considered as an author or the original creator of course. In the case of a cinematograph films, the producer will become the author. In the case of a sound recording, of course, the producer of that sound recording would become the author. In the case of the photograph, the photographer who has taken the picture would be considered as the author of that work. And in the case of the computer generated work, the person who caused the work to be created would be considered as an author for which, for whom or to whom the copyright, copyright rights would be con considered as an original one and the rights will be protected under the copyright laws. So we understood that what is copyright, after that what is the term of the copyright, then why do we need to protect the copyright, what are the works which will, which will be covered under the copyright and when we are talking about the originality concept under the copyright, who will be considered as an author on whom or whose rights would be protected under this law. So when I just stated that whose rights would be protected under the copyright law, it creates another question in our mind that what are the rights which are protected under the copyright. So friends, we shall be starting with the rights which are protected under the copyright in the next session. Till then, stay tuned and keep learning.